Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So today we're going to jump straight into a contract. We got our our mechs uh, fixed from the last episode. We're going to go and grab that other um, base defense mission. We did pretty well in the last one. Uh, I think we partially got lucky on it, but I want to try a two skull one this time. Uh, it was one and a half last time, so let's negotiate. We got some good salvage. So if we see if we can get some more on this one and accept. And we're going to go with our standard lance and deploy and... Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to leave the... Uh, I was just wondering if we should swap out the fire starter, but I think we should leave it in. So let's deploy and get this done. Yeah, I know the Wolverine's under underweight. All right. So where are we here? Oh, this is the uh, long base, right? Okay, so we're gonna do. Um, yeah, we got to do a straight up. Uh, Got to rescue those guys from these guys. Well, at least they've got some good chevrons of evasion. Man, we got lousy initiative. All right, what are they doing? Standing by. Okay, Comet, let's get you... Straight through here. Yeah, we're supposed to just protect these buildings, not stomp on them. I don't know much we can do about it. Waiting for orders. All right, Sunflower, let's get you... Up here. Okay, going full throttle. I want to get right on this guy here, this locust. Hopefully that's enough to offload. No, not quite, I guess. Large, medium, and some missiles. Raven, okay. Got an LRM and an SRM sleep near, eh? So let's move down here. With the Wolfi. And Megasaur. Melisaur. Let's get down here. Ah, yeah, we lost sensor lock on these guys. Um, we know he's up here somewhere. On the move. Full speed. Really close to this guy, but I still can't see him, eh? Uh, we're gonna leave the machine gun off for now, but we'll fire the rest. Firing the eh, not bad. They are weakened, they're in a weakened armor state, so... Any hits we do are gonna be bonus hits. Come on. Come on. You know you want to attack. That's interesting. So, generally on this map, Firestarter, once you've um, engaged the mainland, so you get dro guys drop in from over here and guys from over here as well. So, Usually the guys on the lower side over here, these guys take a little longer to get into battle. Yeah, a lot of junky mechs here. Hope we get something better. All right. Um, Commander. Let's get some eyes on. Step on a few buildings while we're at it. All right, not really eyes on, but 16, 34 with the tag. Wow, 20 with the tag. I'm not sure why the Raven would... Okay, well, we're firing the Raven. It's all misses anyway, no big deal. 
Once we can see him, we're gonna be punching the crap out of these guys. Alright. Turrets online. Turrets online. Hmm. Probably should reserve, but I want to move up. I want to be in a good position to strike next turn. Sensor lock to your heart's content. Ooh. See if we can take this dagger out, or oh God, I keep still call, keep calling locust daggers. All right, let's uh, see if we can finish this guy up. We're going to uh, alpha strike. Well, I'll leave the medium laser off, but we'll hit him with everything else. Okay, good. We want to keep all our our enemies in one location or in one direction. Don't want to let this guy get around behind us. Wow, they're just. Uh, Sensor locking the, these guys. Commander? Ooh, we can just get his toes. Firestarter v. Firestarter. Yeah, not bad. Alright, two hits. No idea what he's got here. Hmm, probably lasers and flamers. Large two mediums and two flamers? If I had to guess. Okay. can't move too far out because we got to come back right I mean we're in good position for the guys down here but these guys over here we're not in good position for Let's do this. Ah, uh, not quite enough. Oh, really? Looks. Oh, sure. Yeah, don't have to shoot at me. Okay, right after this turn, I'm sure the enemy is going to get reinforcements, so we're going to have to make our way back. Let's see if we can kill this guy. That should do it. Yep. That raven's going to have to end up being a uh, target for this other side, too. Here it comes. Nice. Yeah, man. Oh, is that a tag? Don't know what that was. Looked like he might have been tagged. Yeah. This dropship is just to distract you. Yeah, there they are. Drillson. Eh, it doesn't look like we're getting good, good mechs here. Okay, I gotta decide what side I want to put people on here. Griffin, ooh, nice. 
I think um, I think we want to put squishy squishy boom boom over here on this side nah what's this bush oh crap um, who's doing what here Arbiter, great. Come on, what are you guys doing? He's taking a good amount of hits. See what he does. That's the whacker. Seems like he's moving pretty darn slow over there. Position confirmed. Wow, look at that. Alright, firing everything. Okay, lost something. Hopefully it's a torso or something. I have no idea. I'm receiving you. Let's see if we can finish him up real fast here. Location confirmed. Fire everything. Engaging target. Wow, only three hits. That doesn't look good. I'm not turned enough to see what it was either. Um, I dropped my heat a bit here, just hitting with the serms. And this should be a knockout. Okay, good. So problem one is solved. Okay, I got a hit on him. Nice. Turrets are doing their jobs over here. I usually get lousy turrets. But these guys seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, I know we got a griffin over here and a guy with PPC, so I think I'm going to keep the wolverine on this side. God, I don't know. The fire starter seems so useless now that there's like two big chunks of wild... Oh, goblin. Of course. I think we got five pieces of a goblin, though. We need to back... We need to back the stink up. Can't let that guy melee us. Okay. Um, I'm going to just pull back here for now. That goblin, we have to do like a mass attack on him. Okay, yeah, pull back, man. Good thinking. Good thinking. Thinking because we can see these guys, he's going to move over and try and attack these guys. Oh, great. Easy old. Yes, Commander. Can we get... We have to go all the way around over there. Confirmed. 
I'm gonna do it. I think we got a bit of time. We're gonna come up and flank these guys. Crab, that's what we saw. Probably two light PPCs. So let's get uh, you back here. What are you doing, guys? Come on. Just stay up here. Concentrate your fire on one guy. What the hell is this thing? It's supposed to be a turret. doesn't have anything there, though. Sensor locking something over there. Commander. Let's get some coolant down here. I know it's giving them a chance to cool off too, but I would rather be in a position to strike and kill. Griffin. I'd love to get enough parts for a Spectre out of this. Gorgon. Okay, two vehicles on this side. So I think Megasaur is pretty good on this side. Why sensor lock one and shoot the other? Yes! Okay, I want to get Megasaur in this vehicle first. As long as this bushwhacker is focused on these buildings, we can probably jump from the vehicle to the bushwhacker. This goblin has to go, though. I'm here. Uh, we're going to reserve this one back. I want to see how close Hold these guys can get. Advantage. Pirate version. It's always tricky when you're fighting pirate mechs. You really have no idea what their loadout's going to be. Well, I don't. I'm sure a lot of people know. I have no idea. Are they geared for melee? Are they geared for missile? Are they going to have machine guns that are going to explode on them? Which has happened to me in the past, using pirate machine guns. I had them on my uh, hunchback once. Crab's backing up. Just going to reserve. I want to get it back to Megasaur and see how far around we can get with her. This guy's in striking range, so I gotta worry about. So I think if we use this ridge on him, at least it'll take him another turn to get, maybe another turn to get up to us. Receiving. Double time, let's go. Okay, we're in squashing distance now. I can't see this guy though, that's the problem. Uh, leave the Inferno gun off right now. And fire the rest. Yeah. Weak. Well, at least the turrets are hardened. Um, it's reserve, man. Okay, the whacker, Patty Whacker. They're playing a very defensive game. Usually when I get, well, in the past, um, these missions, usually they play a very offensive game. They just try to rush in and smash the buildings. 
you got to keep them tagged all the time so that they target you rather than the buildings but this is interesting We have the ability to hit and run, so... God, that's a really bad chance to hit. And even worse on this guy. Well, I'll take this guy then. Firing. Eh. Yuck. Should be able to hit and run, I hope. Uh, yep, dumping everything into this guy. Yeah, man, hit him. Hit him hard. Hit him with anything. I don't really care what you hit him with, but hit him with something. Yeah, we don't have hit and run on you, but... Just get over here. Be nice to have this drill sin gone, but don't think it'll happen. Ugh, almost. Yeah, man, finish him up. Come on. Who's the fastest guy here? Probably gonna be the goblin. If I had to guess. I hope not though. Yep. Okay. Can't hit this guy. 24s. Wow, even better with this though. Let's fire on this Uzio. It's got full armor. Um, let's just do it. We're doing hit and run. We want to take the best chances to hit. So let's just hit that guy and move back here. I'm here. Target locked. Might as well take our shot. Yeah, it's okay. They gotta come up here if they want a battle, so. Alright. Megasaur is next. We should be able to kill this vehicle. I just hope the bushwhacker doesn't decide to target us. No, 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 don't go. Okay, well. It's fine. I really hope we can get in strike range of this, like punch range of this bushwhacker. Or he can move in punch range, range for us, that's good. So we're going to do a vigilance on her because I want more initiative next turn. So I can get a shot in this bushwhacker. Let's get into here. Not the best spot. But we got a good vantage point of everything here. And we will fire... Uh, yep. Nice. Enemy vehicle destroyed. So I think she can take this bushwhacker on. Improved rocket launchers, flame breath, thunderbolt 10, thermo, AC5, pirate normal machine guns, a lot of shit. But they're all rocket launchers, so once he launched them all, they're done. And if we can get in close, he might not use them, so... Back armor shiz. We should be able to... Well, if we get a good shot in the back, we should be able to one-shot the back. Who's going next here? I have no idea. Waiting for orders. Um, how do we want to do this? We should probably see if we can take out the Arbiter. Eh, we can't even get in to see him. That's kind of whack. That is kind of whack. Where does he... Oh, he's standing behind a huge rock. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't really see it from over here. I thought it was like a small hill. 
Um, let's reserve then. Let's see if he moves forward. It's definitely a craftier game now. Ooh, one hit anyway. He lost something, at least it sounded like it. And he went down. Nice. Alright, who's doing what here? These guys are just like... Nuh-uh. It'd be nice if we can smash these guys fast. And then just focus our attention on these guys. Because it'd be nice if we can get... Well, I want bushwhacker parts. Well... Oh. Shit. Nice shooting, man. After that jump. We gotta take care of this guy now. Pretty good. Yeah, it's okay. We're gonna go after him. Did this vehicle just move? Somebody moved. Order. Somebody did something somewhere. Um. Yeesh. 1525. What was it over here? 2225. A little better. Let's get into range. It's got full armor, right? Looks like it. Oh, 3037. That's even better. Um. Yeah, it's got full armor. Plasma Lance or something? Anyway, whatever. Let's fire everything on him. Let's, ah, uh, machine gun jammed. I knew it would jam, but that's fine. Come on, finish him up. Finish him up. He's taking lots of damage, though. Griffin's got way too much, uh, stability. Yes. He's still alive! What? No, he's gone. Okay, good. Okay, one less mech we have to worry about. Three of us go on 19. We can probably heat this guy up pretty well if we can get behind him. Although if he's fast, which I think he probably is. No idea what his pilot is. Oh, no, maybe not. I'm we here. might all be able to go before him. So I want to overheat him first. Let's get right up on him. Ah, man, really? Let's do that. Get our stability back. Let's roast this guy. Ah, let's hope we get a few hits on him. Nope. Damn it. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know. Do you think we should punch him? Probably not. We're not going to do the same amount of damage, I don't think. Really the quickest way to kill this guy is to hit him in the back. Take a medium laser off and one SRM, I guess. Mm. No, pulse lasers have a better chance to hit, so we'll go this route. And... Let's do it. Not much damage, but it's a start. CT back. He's got lots of armor, man. Standing by. Come on, man. CT back. CT back him for me, please. Please and thank you. There it is, folks. Oh man, this guy's gonna go again. Coordinates received. Fire everything. Got the angle. Take a shot. Maybe he gets the hell out of here. Okay, six crit. Sorry, SRM six crit, couple of core crits. Pen to one side. 
Well, just to one side, really, arm and leg damage. Ooh, knock him down. This, maybe this other guy goes, he can knock him down for me. Nice, getting there. Get in the mineral field, buddy. What else we got? Crab. Offering no real support from that distance. The specter's ghosting us down here. He's right in here somewhere. If he continues along, it's going to take him a while to get up. Probably another two turns to get up here, but I don't think he will. I think he'll come back. He's trying to get a vantage point on the buildings, but he won't get it from there. Uziel's moved in. Come on, this guy's got to go. Just shoot him a couple times and just plink him. Yeah, knock him down. Knock him down. Oh, really? Maybe the turrets can get him. Still got all our turrets left. Hopefully going to be able to just step on this guy. Oh, he went on the turret! He's probably an ace pilot. He'll just jump out of there, probably. Oh, he's going to move! Dude! Nice leg hit. Maybe we can capitalize on that. Maybe we don't try and kill it. Well, I don't know. It's got those nasty ATMs on there. Um, yeah, we're even worse off now. We're down one point with each of the Megasaur and Baba Yaga. Sunflower's still at 19. Comet's still really slow. We can hopefully increase her... Uh, Piloting skill and make her a little faster. Standing by. Oh. Okay, we're going to come around here. Going to push this leg. How much has got left? Still the bunch, but we got a lot of uh, a lot of chances here to take it down. Couple of hits. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. We're gonna try as well here. Um Wow. Fire what we got. Well it looks like we got it though. Yep. Okay, how many pilot injuries is that now? Okay, one. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? Full speed? No target. Oh no, we got a target right here. Um, fluid gun's only going to do six damage, but we're going to take it because I'm hoping. Wow, this guy's got a lot of armor. I know it's half that, but still, it's a fair bit. Thunderbolt, plasma, wow. Fire it all. Ooh! Not enough to destroy him, though. Where do we pen? Side, wow, only a few points left. Like eight points left or something. Um, good chance that guy's not going to hit next turn. Let's back away from the edge there. Um, how much has got left on the on the torso here? Not that much. Let's go after this one. See if we can take that torso. Oh, only two hits. Really? Yeah, with the arm hit. Crap. Well, 
no biggie. Plus 30 heat, that's going to help. Comes the Uziel. As long as it's not the Spectre. It's kind of a weird looking mech. Kind of like a rolled up pill bug with an arms. No, no, you want to shoot the guy on the ground. Shoot the guy on the ground, man. Yep, thank you. Well, I destroyed his hand. Doesn't help. Come on. Yeah, man, mineral field, use it. Ah, uh, got me with the plasma rifle. Okay, you got target acquired. Was that enough? Yep, excellent. Nice, we can get out of the side now. It's gonna take us two turns to get out of the water, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Case destroyed. Engine destroyed. Because hooray for that. No, 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 no. Okay, he's not shooting. <laughs> I thought he was going to hammer me with stuff. He doesn't got much left, though, I don't think. Oh, he's still got a lot of weapons. Okay, Red Comet, a little better initiative this time. There's that beast. Don't You better miss. Crap. 256 damage. This guy has to die horribly. And now. And he's in the freaking mineral field, too. I'm receiving you. We need to get away from him. All right. Okay, let's hammer this guy with flamers. Oh, yeah, man. Finally, they all hit. 75 heat. So that guy's... I don't want to say he's done this turn, but he's got... I think... These are plasma lances? So he's going to generate a lot of heat, so he probably won't use them this turn. Um, what do we got going on now? Turn 19. Who's going? They still got a crab back here. This guy's full armor. Oh, he's going. Alright. Fire away, buddy. I hope he turns on the turrets. It's unlikely because he's a melee mech. I'm, I'm just shitting my pants now because that's going to be bad. Okay, let's decide what we're doing here. Uh, God, it's horrible chances to hit, eh? It's a little better this way. Let's fire this. Uh, I should have gone all for one. Oh, we got him. Okay, never mind. I got lucky there. That was a mistake. I should have fired everything at the Griffin. So again, I'm starting to panic. I don't want to lose any mechs to this goblin. This thing's a nasty piece of work, man. Yeah, you shoot him. 
You shoot him and let him go after you. Give us a turn after him. You kill this Uziel. So they only got three guys left. This crab over here somewhere. That won't be so bad to kill once we uh, eliminate this goblin. Ooh, okay. That may make him target that guy. Commander. Let's get our melee guy back. Um, let's get over here. Acknowledged. Got two turns before we're back. Order. Hard flowers. Um, we need to get back here. We need way. to stay away from that guy. That goblin. If he chases us, we're in trouble. Um... Actually, how much do they, how much heat does this put out? Twenty. These are eighteen, right? Fourteen. So we're just gonna turn out the X pulse, I think. And fire. Ooh. Reporting critical hit. Machine gun is unjammed now. Okay, nice. I'm gonna need that against this guy here. Come on, turrets. Do your jabs. Uh, I would rather you shoot them. Shoot the goblin. Oh, I wasn't watching the timer. Well, we got Griffin salvage. You know what it is, is I'm so used to playing missions without um, length to them. Um, this was 10 turns. I'm just used to playing to the end. I don't really look at the timer as we're going. So, But we got 30% increase in um, contract payment, which is excellent, 315000 uh, We shouldn't have that much in repairs. Firestarter did took a, take a PPC hit, but we didn't lose anything, which is the most important thing. Excellent. What else do we got? Good experience, too. Arbiter pieces, bushwhacker pieces. Let's hope we get a few of those. AC5 pirate. Improved rocket launchers, which we really don't want. Plasma cannon. Uh, that's a possibility for heavier builds, but right now I think we'll not worry about that. Triple plus SRM6. That is something that we can use immediately um, on the assassin. The R12 sheath beacon. Mm, that's a possibility too. ECL, but it's got an ECM bubble, right? So that's a possibility. We got case two, which is another great possibility. Uh, what else do we got here? Com suites, endo steel, XL engine for cash. Um, fire control system approved. Missile plus one accuracy, not a big deal. XL engine. I think we're gonna well we could take the XL for cash but I don't know okay so we got heat sinks here double heat sink kit I take that definitely need that for the Wolverine uh, NSS so a lot of good stuff here uh, ammo plasma SRM LK ammo is another good possibility for the um, assassin case two though do we have we got one in stock already I want to bring another one. I want case two in both the assassin and in the um, Wolverine. So let's bring that into play. Um, yeah, I think we go this route. Although there's so much good stuff here. Um, I need to start making a list, I think, of the stuff we really, really want. Although, uh, you know what? XL Gyro is going to give us more weight. Ten percent called shop bonus too, though, right? We need to start legging max and stuff. Does this this doesn't have increased accuracy or anything? Well, let's go that route. It's always hard to say. 
Yeah, let's go that route. Let's roll the dice, see what we get up here. Once again, I don't take mech parts unless we can finish a mech off, so let's hope we get a whole bunch of bushwhacker parts. Keeping my fingers crossed, even griffin parts would be nice, but I'd rather have a bushwhacker. So, yeah, let's confirm. Arbiter part, one, two bushwhacker parts, not bad. Two griffin parts, that's good. So we got three of each and a raven part now. AC5 pirate, machine gun plus, SRM4 streaks, not bad. Um, that's actually a good possibility for... Um, running on the Assassin too. We could put the streaks up on that guy. SRM6 triple plus, that's nice. Um, tag, which I think we've already got a tag, don't we? No, we don't. Um, lower arm, which I think we actually need, <laughs> which is good, so that's good. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we got the uh, SRM LK ammo, good. Okay, so I want to take another mission today real quick. Uh, 10,000 for repairs in five days, which is excellent. We're going to put the Wolverine first because I want to get that double heat sink in, in there as fast as possible. The Wolverine has not taken any damage. Well, uh, let's go to, sorry, Mech Bay. Mech Bay. Thank you. And let's go straight to the Wolverine. Let's do a little bit of a refit. If we can get it back within five days or six days when our guys are, I guess really it's really four or five days. Uh, so let's do a couple of things here. Where's my double heatsink kit? We first we need to get that in here. Um, heatsink kit double, boom! It's going to make a huge difference. Got to take out a regular heatsink, but we don't have to worry about that. Let's pull these three guys out. Um, so that's already going to give us a huge amount of extra heat. Oh yeah, we got tons of sinking now. So now we can start working on our mech here a little bit. Um, Let's take out the irregular. We got extra tonnage all of a sudden too, which is great because we got we took these three out. So let's have a look here. We've got an extra missile hard point. So we could put the SRM6 in there uh, with more ammo. Um, pull out the medium laser. Do we? What do we have laser wise here? We've got another hard point still unavailable or available. I mean, we could go this route. Put a pair of medium pulses in this guy. So heat sinking now. That's still pretty damn good. Uh, let's then go to equipment and we'll put a patchwork material in. Uh, let's drop it here. We got one ton, which means we can use case two, which we've got right here. Let's drop it in here. Put the ammo. So that's protected. And what I also want to do is I want to try and get um, a double heat sink in here if we can. I don't know if we really need it, if we really need it though. This is going to be five days. It's still working out really well here. Sheath beacon. See, this is plus one missile damage and accuracy with the missile weapons. Plus one initiative, cockpit voice. Um, DNI cockpits, two slots, plus one melee. I don't want it on this guy. Um, yeah, they really, I mean, can't fit Pharaoh on here. I mean, I could put the NSS on. Don't have well, we've got the warfare suite in here. One twenty radius ECM bubble, but the I think the um, sheath beacon gives more, right? One hundred and fifty. So it's actually better to go this route. Evasion pit for movement sensor and increased sight range. Warfare suite gives weapon heat generated. So while this isn't that bad, I don't think it's what we want. If we do this though, oh, well, that's good. We can do that. We gain two tons. I didn't realize this would go in the sensor slot. That's interesting. Active sensor probes, that makes sense. So that's a huge bonus for us right there. Now we've got good heat sinking. 
Um, two tons. Let's swap out. the SRM four with a six and we got one ton left um, how are we doing for heat though we can squeeze a double heat sink in here I think gotta move stuff around a bit though patchwork materials can go in the leg can the heat bank go in the leg? it can do we want it in the leg? I don't see why not And then we can just throw a double heat sink in the torso. I think that's pretty good. This is 200 rounds of ammo. So it's going to give us 11 turns of continuous fire. Yeah, let's go with this. I'm actually really happy with this loadout. 10 days. I'll take the 10 days. Um, I have no problem with that. Such a huge improvement on this guy already. So let's confirm. We'll take the 10 days. Alright, so let's manage our tasks a bit. Uh, let's bring this guy up and hunch back, fire starter, close. And we've got enough for a financial report, so let's go and look at the assassin real quick. Uh, oops. Once again, brain working far ahead of what my hands are. Um, okay, so if we pull out... We've only got two missile slots, so let's pull out the sixes. Let's pull out the SRM ammo. And let's go with fours streaks. We've got two of these guys now. One on each torso. And can we use the LK ammo? That's a good question should be able to yeah under tonned oh we need streak ammo right right check the store because maybe um, nope screw you all right uh, we can't do that which is unfortunate, but we can put the SRM, this one in, and the SRM4 bonus damage in with the bonus damage ammo. Uh, are we going to need more than 10 rounds, 10 turns of firing with the SRMs? Probably not. Not at this level, anyway. So let's look at putting in, how's our heat efficiency here? 36, 32. We can put in a second medium laser now. Um... Just a regular medium laser, maybe? That's all we have. Small pulse, but that's like three times. Yeah, it's... It'd be nice if we could get the large pulse in this guy, but it's not going to happen. Could drop a flamer in. And a heat sink. Only got one more laser point. Support point. Um, tag? Probably a better option, I think. And then one heat sink. Uh, let's just drop it uh, here. We don't need the upper arm on this guy. Um, so how are we doing here heat sinking wise? 39 to 32, so we don't need the extra heat sink. What was I thinking? Um, we don't even need that. We got two tons. What are we gonna do with two tons, man? Um, half a ton of armor. So then let's do. If we're gonna do it, might as well put a medium laser on, or we could put bonus small because we're usually in close anyway. It's twenty damage. 8 heat, right, half a ton of armor, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
We got one left over because we got Pharaoh. So put it in the back. Keep this guy alive as long as possible and then put a heat sink back in. How we doing here? Actually not bad. Small won't be firing all the time. We won't be fire when we're in close. So it's a little better loadout I think. Um, SRMs are doing more damage. Um, spite helmet gives us bonus melee damage. What if we? What else do we have? Anything else here? Not well. Cockpit voice, plus one initiative. Let's confirm this for now. I want to see what other our other mechs have. Log and no. Shouldn't be too hard. This guy's an armored cowl. This is our yeah our energy bot. So you got an armored cowl. Don't think we're going to get to another mission today, guys. We might. We'll see. Um, Armored Cowl. This machine gun's really not doing much. So this is like... One and a half tons. Um, we're getting initiative with the Armored Cowl. We don't need that. Any of that on there. Warfare Suite is two tons, right? Got a regular ECM. Let's pull the ECM out, put the Warfare Suite in. Uh, I don't even know what side to put it on. Move the exchanger into the head. How are we doing heat-wise here? Still really well. Um, kind of liking this because this gives us a bubble. Whereas this one doesn't. Oh, it does. But it's just one to sensor checks, and this one is still one to sensor checks. It's got an active probe in it. Increased sensor and sight range, plus 10% weapon heat generated, but uh, I don't know. Half a ton. We can drop in... Oh yeah, the case 2 can come out now too. We don't need that in there. A ton and a half. So now we can drop in a double heat sink. Where are you here? Actually, we probably drop in two double heat sinks. We put patchwork materials in the legs. It's this, because I don't think it's adding the 10% heat, right? Because we've got 25, 50, and 36 is 86 heat plus 10% is, yeah, 86 plus 10% is, God, my brain's going dead here. So it's about 95 minus 15%, 81, somewhere around there, 80 something. And then we've got 66 plus 6 is 72. Yeah, so we do still need a little bit. I'm going to drop. Let's drop two double heat sinks in for now. We'll see what the sinking is like in battle. If this guy can run super cool the whole time, that would be awesome. Um, let's go that route. Confirm. Five days. It'll take us a little longer to repair these guys than I thought, but that's okay. Manage our tasks here. Hunchback. Let's get this back up and this one like that. So 11 days. All right. Maybe we can take something real quick here. Um, let's prod the safety system into action. Nice. Saving lives. I've got the financial report. You always do, Darius. You always do. Okay. Let's get these up and running, man. There we go. All right. Let's have a look at the barracks real quick. Take one more quick mission before this episode ends. I know it's taking a little long. Yes, man. Gunnery 7. Thank you. 10% increased range. I'll take that. Megasaur. Uh, let's take... I 
I'm going to give you this because we want the plus one evasion here. Uh, yeah, let's just save it. We'll get piloting. Training confirmed, Commander. Okay, uh, a red yeah. comet. Um, gunnery? 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 Yeah, man. I'm thinking so. Mech warrior training You're all about the flamers, so... So, Tora, you don't need anything right now. Uh, Sunflower, uh, let's go with the gunnery. I'm thinking again. Yeah, well, you got the uh, pulse lasers, right, normally? We want the cold shot bonus. I think so. I think we want to start legging stuff. So let's confirm this. We've got pretty good chances to hit overall. And Zed Trader Bob, you can just stay there. I should change them to like Zed Trader Igor or something. All right, so um, yeah, let's do something another mission real quick here before we end the episode. Get some more uh, rep, rep with uh, escort missions too long. Get some more rep with Karita here. We're at already at what? Uh, 90. Wow, that last mission gave us a lot of rep. Um, defend base will give us seven more. Forward observers. Yeah, let's take on these Davian military units, man. You got it. Negotiate this sucker out. We're already got pretty much our financial report, so let's go full salvage again. And standard lance deploy. Let's get this done. Alright, let's do this. Uh, Leroy Jenkins. Good to go, Commander. You bet we are. Um Scout Lance could be more than a Scout Lance. Two skulls, maybe it could be more than a Scout Lance? I don't know. Let's get up over here. So this rock formation, if you got the speed is a good place to go. Commander. It takes you away from the potential guys up on the hill up here if they have a re uh, reinforcement lance. The other thing you can do if you're slower is move to the... Yeah, they got vehicle over here. There's another, another lance. The other thing you can do is move up against the hill here so they have to come right up to you before they can shoot you if you're really slow. Or you can try and make your way over here. Commander. I like being on this side. Acknowledged. We've played a match on this map before too where we kind of move over to here. Use the hill, use this stuff to just stay hidden. It's good for hit and run too. And I'm blabbing on because I don't know what the hell else to say. Alright, we want to get this done fast. I got eight guys. Scout lances. We are not going to be doing anything this turn. Affirmative. What do we got here? Phoenix Hawk. 50 tons. It's a Phoenix Hawk 2, isn't it? Phoenix Hawk 3. Wasp. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? Let's not block my guys in. Like I've done in the past. Or we've had done to us in the past. Of course. Oh, it's a Hatchiman. Hachiman. At least that's not one of those one punch man goblins. Copy that. Osiris, 30 tons. I have no idea what that is. See so if we can tag him. Nope. Because a whole lot of nope. And a griffin. Ooh. We only got three salvage. I was hoping that we had more salvage, but we only got three. Not like we can take the Griffin parts. But we're going to smash these other guys and try and get as many Griffin parts as we can by targeting the legs. The Hatchetman would be nice at this level too. Um, the one thing I don't like about the, the Hatchetman and the Hatchetmoto Chi, or the Hatamoto Chi, is they don't have um, hard points, like um, support hard points, which is kind of a pain because you kind of want that. Hmm.
what do we do, what do we do, and you live in a shoe, move to a boot and get laced. Let's get over here. See what our heat's like now. We were asked before. <sighs> oh, we're gonna have so much fun in this match. This guys are in a lot of trouble. Of course, now that I said that, I'll probably take a couple of headshots here. Okay, we need to get in on these guys. Um, I think Sunflower is probably a better choice at first start here. Okay, we got our Phoenix Hawk now. Um, do we kill the Osiris though? Or do we soften up the Phoenix Hawk for our punch? 37. 63 with the X pulses. Okay, we're going to go this route. Better chances to hit, we're going to take them. Solid connection on that one. Ah, sounded like it was a solid connection. We got a punch back coming in a second here. Alright, it's the same Griffin we fought before, I think. 2N? I think it was a 2N we fought, wasn't it? I'm here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, he's gone, so let's get in here. We fought one of these guys before. I think we have. Ooh, he's almost done. Um, twenty-seven thirty-three. Eh, a little better chance on this. If we can get a couple shots through CT, we can take him out. Nope. But we can hit him with three of those uh, flamers, though. Pretty nice. You stay up in the hill, man. You just stay right up there. Wasp, right? Megasaur, you don't have the range. Ah, I thought you'd have enough range. You know what? If we hadn't parked ourselves right here, parked our stupid asses right there, let's not get too close to them. Yeah, we don't want to get too, too close. Let's get into the woods here. And can we split fire? We cannot split fire, unfortunately. But we can probably take this guy out, leave the inferno, the, uh, inferno gun off here. The fluid gun off, I mean. Ah, not even enough to kill him. I think I hit something good. Head hit, knock down. Don't know what he's got on him. Looks like there's a PPC in his CT here. Huh. No idea. Medium laser wasp, probably got a couple of machine guns. I like the fact that they added the Wasp and Stinger. We used to face so many of those guys in the Locusts. I don't know. I'm blind. We're going to shoot this guy and we're going to shoot this guy. That is a lot of heat. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Probably wasn't thinking that's probably the thing. <laughs> Alright, it's fire. I've done worse. Alright, not a bad start. Yeah, some torso hits and some leg hits, okay. He's in melee range for next turn. We're already overheating here. But we got plenty of damage output. We could just move in and punch him too. 47 is not bad for the Wolverine if you consider it's not... Well, I, guess, I mean, it's a... You use it more often than not for as a melee mech, but 47 is pretty good. Alright, what are we doing back here? There's got to be somebody else. What's... Oh, there is. Another wasp. So, there must be another person back here. Vehicle or probably a mech. Uh, this guy's deciding what he's going to do. You cheeky monkey. Come on, you guys. 
Still somebody back here. Somebody's thinking about something. Oh, J. Edgar. Sounds like another vehicle. Pegasus. Okay. All right. We know what's there now. Do we play the game with them? I want to punch him. So I'm going to move back here where these other guys can't really see me. And we're going to hammer his side here. Fire. I want to punch him on the side, I think. The hell does he got? Pirate Rack 2 or something? What's up, boss? I wonder. 63% chance to hit. Let's drop the fluid gun on. We might get a chance at it. We'll see. Locked on for physical attack. Nice. 97. Heat him up. You did. That's okay, though. Yes, Commander. That's all right. We're not going to criticize you for that. <sighs> no, I think we need to get in here. Get some cover behind these mechs. Force this guy out of here. We don't like him behind us, so we're going to hit him. Hopefully we get with one in here. We've got one flamer. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take the one. Wesp. Yeah, you know, we're holding up pretty well. These uh, ECMs and stuff that we've added, the, the sheath beacon and stuff, it's doing a pretty good job here overall. Not really the best place to be, but we're going to get into here. And we can't obviously fire everything, but we can fire all our pulses, so we're going to do that. You know, the other thing we might want to look into is taking all the uh, SRMs off and putting putting the large pulse on there. That is a, pr a potential option. It's 7 tons with 40 heat, so it's like, I don't know, it's kind of a... Uh, I don't know, with the three hits of 25, is it really going to be worth it? You keep jumping around, buddy. We're going to knock your ass right on the ground. Okay, we're still only up one mech right now. Well, they're up three, but we've only killed one. Jared, you're getting a few more balls moving in. I know I've said it before, it must be utterly terrifying to be in a vehicle when you're around with mechs, around mechs that can step on you and just kill you instantly. And it's not like, you know, getting hit, hit with a round and having a chance to bail out. They just squash you into the ground and there's no way out of that thing. It just must be absolutely horrific. Could you imagine being like a guy that's like charged with recovering the uh, the vehicle carcasses for salvage and just f finding s just squished bodies everywhere. Couldn't imagine that. It would just be so horrific. I've done some videos with emergency responders in them and they're always talking about you know how horrific it is to show up on crash scenes and stuff and you know the one cop was saying he showed up and a guy had hit a pole and he, the brains were all over the dashboard and stuff. Receiving. He was just so traumatized. I couldn't imagine being one of those, one of those crews that's charged with like, 
recovering anything off a battlefield like that. Got it. All right, let's hammer this guy because he needs to go. Going down. Griffin, what's he deciding to do here? Wow, he's really inaccurate. But of course, he's standing in a mineral field too, right? So, I think you get plus two to hit other people if you're in a mineral field. Can I get behind this guy? Which way is this wasp facing? Oh, I see. He's facing this way, so behind him's over here. Okay, well, that's not a big deal. Okay, let's just target this guy. Uh, we're gonna fire. I can hear everyone screaming, Why didn't you kill the Phoenix Hawk? I know, I hear you. I hear you. You're here, you're there, you're everywhere! That's why. All right, um, so this Wop's got to go. If, he's, if he hangs out here this next turn, he's dead. Uh, then I think maybe the vehicles, this Hatchetman's annoying as shiz. The fact that he's not closing. I want to take this Griffin apart. Well, take his legs apart, that is. Maybe we get lucky with headshots on him too. Come on, guys, where are you going? J. Edgar. Ah, they don't want to close. I don't blame them. Yes, Commander. Moving out. Okay, I want to get eyes on this Griffin. I think I want to try and get him earlier rather than later. Oh, is this the Hatchman? He's coming down. Nice. Saves me having to go after him. All right, four flamers. Wow. Negative damage. Yeah, I don't want Negative the damage. I want the heat on him. I want the heat on him, Bubba. You should be able to kill this guy. I don't know if I want to... The Axemen, or the Hatchetmen, don't normally... Um, melee right away. Like, if he's got that AC and it's not jammed, he probably jammed that last time when he fired six rounds, which is why he's moving in. So I'm just talking a lot. I'm just wondering if I should go with the Hunchback or with Megasaur against this guy. I think we're going to go after this guy with Megasaur, take him out in one shot, and then we're going to try and um, carve up this uh, Griffin. Okay. Ms. Flowers. I'm gonna stay outside the woods. I want a better chance to hit. Um, and we're doing okay here. Ten percent on the head. Still pretty damn low. See if we can take that leg, or at least I'll start applying some damage to it. So a couple hits. It's got minus three initiative next turn. The J. Edgar and the other guy in the uh, thing, they're squashable, so I'm not really worried about them. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Wow, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, didn't do too bad there. Uh, yeah, I got, let's just walk it up to here. I don't know if we're going to get a height advantage up here, but... Uh, so we are going to do an offensive push on this guy and try for the leg again. Wow, really bad chances to hit. But we'll drop some SRMs on there as well and just go for it. Okay, a couple of hits. Actually a lot better than I thought we'd do. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Um, yeah. Can't get to his side, so we'll just take his back out. Sorry, buddy. 
Gosh. Still alive. You survived that, buddy. You survived. You should be bailing out. You should be running. Okay, probably the Pegasus moving now. Nope, the Wasp. He's fleeing! Don't blame you, man. You just saw what happened to the other guy. It's nice how these vehicles kind of go out and back in again. It's kind of like hit and run, in a way. I don't know if that Axeman is going to be able to get to us. I'm kind of worried about that. Acknowledged. Just going to walk it up. Going to push this guy's leg again. 80 something percent chance to hit this time if we hit with these things. And I'm going to fire. Okay, a couple more hits in the legs. Finally got to the structure. Nice. Reducing his initiative. We might be able to take this leg this turn. If we can get Babiaga down there. Uh, we're going to get red uh, comment on um, this wasp. And I think this hunchback, once this hatchetman reveals himself, yeah, we're going to go after this guy. Yeah, he's got that pirate rotary too, I think. Something along that line. Megasaur. Let's see if we can take that hatchy arm. Don't like that hatchetman arm. Let's nerf his uh, melee c capability. Oh, leg, not bad. Wow. We need better secondary weapons. Definitely need better secondary melee weapons. Commander? I should be um, allocating certain missions to acquiring certain things. Like, I know we were looking for the double heat sink kit there for a while. Um... I think we should be looking for, um, wow. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't make me kill you. Uh, we should be looking for other stuff for the melee mechs. As much as I want to take on this griffin at this moment, I think this guy's a little bit more important. Shouldn't have much left in this leg. No, we're going to go for the leg shot. Not the best angle, but we are going to take it. Okay, looks like we got a hit on it. We didn't get it, though. Oh, we did. Right leg destroyed. Nice. Be nice to have a hatchetman, too. Won't turn that down. I think the Griffin's primary primary scrap parts for this mission, if we can get a lot of them. I want to trash everybody else. So flanker, tempting a flank and spank, but whatever. You go do that, buddy. I think he's just afraid to engage, and I don't blame him. Okay, what are you guys doing? You got both vehicles left. These vehicles take a long time to consider what they're doing. Be interested to see what um, the uh, chance of getting ace pilot on your vehicle is. I think that would be the first thing I would go for with vehicles. It's ace pilot. Being able to move in, fire, fire, and then move out again, especially on these hovercraft, is like hugely important. Especially if they want to stay alive, right? Yeah, you'll get yours. Don't you worry. I think you're going to get it next turn. Well, probably the Pegasus will get it next turn. And then that guy. What do we got with Hatchy here? I think it's just his leg that's gone, right? Yeah. Might be able to take that other leg. CT's taking a few hits. 
and this guy has got about 60 leg, 50 le 60 left in the leg. Yeah, I see it. He's being cheeky. Light damage. Holding firm. Okay, here comes a griffin. And then this guy. Wait, no, he moved already, didn't he? And then we knocked his ass down. Ooh. I don't like you. Um, Coordinates received. I want his leg, please. Mm, I think we just shoot. Maybe we get lucky. I'm uh, gonna leave a medium pulse off and fire the rest. Oh, yeah. We get the leg? No, we didn't. That was 48 on the leg, I think, but... Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Can't go from the front. Or from the back. Wait, that's the front there, right? 79. A little better chance to hit from the front. Let's attack. Heading out. Most engines are in the back, so we've got a chance to get the engine off this guy. Oh! That puts us back, man. That puts us back. Can't be missing. Negative damage. Repeat negative damage. Mm hmm. I'm coming for you. Losing armor. Griffin. Uh, coming for you. Full There's nowhere left to run, buddy. Uh, yeah, man, dumping everything into his side here. Okay, there's the leg. And the torso and the arm. And the knockdown. And yeah, pretty much the end of him now. Two or three injuries. That should be three. Torso. Uh-huh. Standing by. Double time. Let's go. Let's get out of the range of that hatchetman. He can't move very far, but Gotta make sure we're not near him. Three shots, chance for the headshot. Oh, we got all three hits. Nice. He's nice and toasty now. Come on, guys. Stop thinking about it. Stop thinking and do. Move behind the hunchback and shoot at him. It's not that hard. Wrong hunchback. That one's not the threat. Systems holding. Okay, one more vehicle than the Hatcherman. And then we're gonna move in and punch him right in the face again. I think we'll attack the same side again. I wanna see if we can get that arm. There's the guy you should be going after. Yeah, it's enough though. Come on. I don't think you can move that far with one leg. Nope. Nice shot though. Well, nice attempt at a shot. Rack two jammed. So yeah, I think he does have a pirate rack too. Um, Moving to position. Let's just get up here. 
Need to target this guy. Far it all. Here comes Megasaur. Waiting for orders. Ma -ma 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 Megasaur. Sounds like one of those big uh, horns. <laughs> Boom! That should dissuade the other guys from hanging around. He's a Hatchim <laughs> is like bump, bouncing up and down here. Um, let's see if we can get a headshot. Yeah, fire. Critical hit, Commander. All right. Well, need to get a bit of heat back, so let's move back here. Leave the medium pulses off. Jam the SRM sixes up. And go for a headshot and see what happens. Nope. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, well. Didn't have much left anyway. Then there was three. This is taking far too long. If these guys didn't take so long moving, it might be a little better, but... So I'm thinking we're ready for two and a half skull, maybe a three skull mission. Depending on what it is. Base destructions are always good. Capture bases are always good. Getting shot in the back is never good. Come on, buddy. Not that hard. Figure out where you're moving to move. Right here. Oh, I was right. He's shooting at the wrong guy, though. Good shooting, though. That's a lot of damage. Waiting for orders. Ms. Flowers. That's 80-something damage. Let's just go for it and cool off. Might be able to kill him. Let's see here. What is up with the vehicle melee misses? Come on! Really? Really? You need to get back here and help out. Okay. Start off with this guy. Sure. I want him gone. That's how it's done, guys. Of course, I have a hell of a lot more weapons than you, so can't really blame you. Roger. Roger, kicking it. Two left. We need some heat sinking on this guy too. Double heat sink kit would be nice, but not necessary. And he's running. Ready for orders. Attack from the front. Position confirmed. Yeah, so a good tip. I was told that if you want to keep the uh, vehicle engines, some of them have fusion cores or XL engines. Usually they're in the back. So if you're going to step on it, step on it from the front. Gives you the best chance of preserving it. So that's a really good tip. I've been doing that and it's been working out. So I think that was Fist of Dorn that mentioned that. Somebody did. Somebody mentioned it. It's good. It was a really, really good tip. Okay, this guy's almost done. Target's taken a critical hit. Should just bail out, guy. Commander. Affirmative. Just bail out. Bing. Firing full complement on it. Nice. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, 178,000. Probably going to cost us not that much for repairs, maybe 50 something for repairs. I don't think we took any uh, component damage, which is always a win 
in my books. I don't mind losing alarm, an arm as long as we don't lose any vital components in that arm. All right. Um, let's hope we get that Griffin part. ER mediums, light PPC, another bonus SRM6, which we're not really using, compact heat sink kit. Okay, I got to finish this up real quick. Problem with the compact heat sink kit is it's like a double heat sink, is it not? It should be, but it's it requires compact heat sinks, which are three tons in one slot, though. I guess if you got the weight, um, it's fine, but if you don't have the weight, XL gyro is one of the things we were looking for. Let's take that. Double heat sinks we don't need right now, we have lots. Patchwork materials are always good. Slick Suite, Advanced, it's a sensor. Resolve gain for all Lance members. Injuries resisted, plus two initiative. C3 Network Slave Unit, that's kind of cool. Supercharger. Hmm. We don't have very many sensor suites, so I'm going to grab that. Um, TSMs are nice too, but... Uh, I don't think at this moment they're the right way to go. Patchwork materials, maybe. You know what? Maybe we take advanced fire control, breaching shot. Breaching shot's nice, but it's not. For, improves call shot modifier by 20%. Wow. That's uh, pretty handy. But I'm thinking I would take the compact, compact heatsink kit for cash. That's going to be, what, 200, 260, mm, 325,000, something like that. Yeah. Can't take mech parts, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll go for this. Nope. Where are you? Here it is. All right, taking that. Let's confirm. All right, so hatchetman part, nah, two ER medium lasers, flamer. We got the bonus SRM-6, which is nice. Um, TSM, which is a kind of a bonus. SRM-AX, corrosive acid. Minus one accuracy. Target takes 20% more damage for two turns. So that is a huge bonus, and we should put that in our to our um, Wolverine. Yeah, I think some of I think it was Fist of Dorn again was mentioning using uh, acid on the um, on the fluid gun, uh, but I think having an SRM is a bonus too. Uh, let's confirm this: thirty-one thousand, so a lot less than I thought. All right, I'm gonna have to end the episode here, guys. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, when we come back next time, we'll definitely be taking more missions. We sh we're gonna try and get our rep with Draconis Combine up. Whoa, we're almost there. 97 faction rep. So one more mission, I think. We're getting about seven points per two skull mission, so should, we should be able to pull off one more on the planet to get uh, 100 rep or over 100 rep with these guys, which will be awesome. I'm not sure if that's. I think that's the uh, over 100. I think is the ally or chance to be any allied anyway. So we're gonna try that. Um, but yeah, I got my triple F burgers waiting for me downstairs, so I gotta head out. So um, yeah, if you guys like the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.